Hi guys. Okay, so I know it has been actual eons since I've sat down and filmed a video, um, which is the first elephant in the room. The second elephant in the room is this, <laughs> which comes from elephant number one. So if you've looked at any of my previous videos, I'm Katie by the way, um, I have been on a cancer journey for 2020 is going into my fourth year. Um, the reason I haven't filmed in eons is because I have, I spent all of 2019 having surgeries and chemotherapy treatments um, for my cancer. I was sick all the time, felt horrible, looked horrible. Uh, you know, the cancer, the steroid, or the chemo, the steroids, all the meds I'm on, they make you blow up, they discolor your skin, they just make you look like a blowfish, and of course lose your hair. I am now off of chemotherapy, but I am in the middle of about six weeks or so of radiation treatments to different areas where there is cancer um, in the middle of this pandemic. Um, and that leads to my hair. So my hair is growing back, but if you've seen any of my previous videos, I am kind of a neutral dark brown haired girl. I don't dye my hair. Um, but one of the new medicines I have to be on, uh, just causes your body to lose any pigment in your hair, like arm hair. You can see my brows are light, eyelashes are white. Um, so any brown that's here is what held on during my year of chemo, but everything that has grown in the past few months is white. Um. Yes, I can dye it later down the road, but right now I'm just focusing on growing my hair out. Um, so I've just been sick or self-conscious and haven't worn makeup. I mean, probably in 2019, I wore makeup five times and I thought we would just do kind of a more fun spring look because it is a nice day right now. And I just wanna see if I remember how to do makeup. Um, so today I'm going to be using some new makeup that I've played with but I've never actually put on my face because that's another one of my illnesses. <laughs> I'm, gonna use, I'm trying to use this up, this NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Um, it's just a very cooling, hydrating primer that I love. I will probably repurchase this one. Um, after I use it up and keep it as my number one a hydrating primer. So I have um, acquired a lot of samples through my purchases that I'm trying to work through. And I have wanted to try this. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Um, it's like a gel formula, kind of, um, kind of like a BB cream type, uh, type product. Um, and the lightest shade I have is Vanilla 02. I'm super pale Casper-like right now, which is totes fine because who's going anywhere? Um, but I am just going to take a little bit and put it on. One thing that I do want to show you in this video is what I've been doing um, for my under eyes because chemo can tend to make you very gaunt looking. So my under eyes became really hollow, very yellow, and then also very blue. And I don't usually have discoloration much around, um, wow, I really like this around my eyes can dry out your skin another medicine i'm on dries out my skin so i um i couldn't even like when i wanted to go somewhere i couldn't even put concealer on because i literally had flakes under my eyes i mean nothing no amount of 
hydration or concealer could could do anything about i mean i couldn't even put i couldn't even bring my foundation up like this because it just flaked and i mean it's still not great um but anyway this has been my, my lifesaver for my under eyes and it is the becca um, under eye brightening corrector this is the shade light to medium this is the only thing i have found that i have been able to put under my eyes and actually do some concealing and also not make it look flaky so i just take this is a real techniques crease brush but it's a little bit denser of a brush i just stick it right in here and the key is i only put this where i feel like i have that darkness i don't bring it anywhere it doesn't need to be um and also lots of hydration before i even go in with makeup under my eyes so to me yeah it doesn't i mean it's not like it totally covers everything but it does enough to where i feel like i look normal and not as just like sick and mummified anyway so this love it it's something it's a little bit pricier it's becca i think it's around 30 dollars um but it's something i can see lasting a long time and it has a great amount of hydration and moisture to it should i do my brows next i feel like okay guys brows is something i don't normally do because I had pretty good brows before. They're thick and dark. I mean, not like overly thick, but as you can see, the new brow hairs are very white. I mean, they're just as thick as they used to be, but because they're white, they don't look as thick. So I've been using um, this CoverGirl pomade type thing. I hate that I have to do brows now. I'm not great at it and i haven't done them before they take me so much extra time but i literally have two-toned hair two-toned eyebrows two-toned eyelashes so i've got to um do something so i just take a little brow brush i think this is from jcat it was like a couple dollars it's just an angle angled brush and i'm going to do this and be right back my brows now they may look stark compared to the rest of my body but uh this is how they used to be guys all on their own <sighs> anyway okay next i am going to go in with i always do my complexion first and so this is a cream sculpt stick from jordana um I got this on Amazon, but it is a true cool toned, it's right here, um, cream contour stick. And I need all the contour and sculpting I can get. So I've never used this before, um, but I'm just gonna, gonna see if I can chisel this a little bit. Um, now I don't know how fast I have to blend it in. I'm using an e.l.f. Um, it's just the e.l.f. brush, but it's like a super good contour. Okay, so there's a little bit difference. And I'm not going to lie, guys. When I have a little extra flab going on, I kind of like a more sculpted line right here i know the look right now is to be very diffused but um i i need help so this is what we're doing i like it to be a little lighter underneath just to give that cheek bone some pop okay and i'm also oh gosh i never do it under here lord knows i need to though Get rid of this quarantine chemo chin. Just don't make fun of me because I look bald, please. Let's just play, guys. Let's just not care about what people think about us right now. 
We are all just trying to survive this quarantine. I go to the hospital, um, a huge cancer hospital here in Ohio, um, every day of the week, Monday through Friday. I have a low immune system. My white blood cell count is below average right now. Um, I am getting treated for cancer through radiation, so a lot of my cells are being killed every day. And I have nothing to do but trust in the medical system. Say what you want about it, but I don't have a choice. I have to stay away from people. I'm not getting on this soap opera. But guys, let's just be kind to each other. Let's just be respectful of other people's health needs and you know let's let's be unselfish let's just be unselfish the hourglass ambient lighting edit ghost palette this was their holiday palette for 2019 i've always wanted to try one but there's never been one where i was like i think i will like every every product in that palette until this one. Stupid expensive. It was my, my main Christmas wish item. I uh, prompted Santa to get it when uh, Sephora had their like 20% off sale. And these two right here are kind of finishing powders. So I'm just gonna take a big, oops, fluffy brush. This is from Amazon. Um, I'm going to put it in both of these two colors and give some ambient lighting to my face. Now I know one thing people complain about with these um, palettes is the pan size is so small that it's hard to get your brush in. I agree, but I don't know. I can make it work for good products, guys. I can make it work. And then I'm just going to take this lighter one and put it under my eyes a little bit. I don't put, I, as you saw, I don't powder my under eyes. I can't. I mean, I can't because of the dryness. So I'm just sweeping this like ever so lightly just to give a brightening. I mean, you can see I still have discoloration. I still have these fine lines under this eye because, um, I'm going to say this fast. My major tumor is um, on my skull over here and it's pressing on the trigeminal nerve which is a huge, huge nerve near your brain stem and it controls um, sensation on each side of your face. So you have one on each side of your head. So most of my right side of my face is numb and then one of the little fingers of the nerve, it kind of goes from back here up to here, under here and down here. And the one that's around my eye causes a lot of irritation. So I'm constantly rubbing my eye. I'm constantly, um, I'm icing it a lot to kind of numb the pain. Um, so I have more fine lines than I used to under this eye. The bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Um, so I did the contour, which was a very matte, um, cool toned. And then the bronzer here is a little bit more warm toned. Um, just a little bit. It's right here. So this was the sculpting powder, the sculpting contour stick. And then this is the bronzer. So I'm just going to put that, um, a little bit higher and on top of the cream contour. Make it look like I've been in the sun at least once in the past, I don't know, year. I always bring a little bit of bronzer over this part of my face because that's where I tend to get tan. There are these two shades for um, blush which was one of the main reasons I picked this palette because they always have kind of an overall face powder a highlight and a bronzer but the blushes aren't always my cup of tea but these are the two blush colors so one's like a deeper coral and one's like a lighter pink but then here is when I kind of mix them together and it gives me my like sweet spot brighter pink coral shade using the Real Techniques I think it's the cheek Insta Pop cheek brush. So 
really like this. And if you've ever watched any previous videos, I, whoa, I can go ham on my blush. For me, it's what I like. Do what you like. There are zero rules to makeup. You, I know this sounds so cliche and cheesy. You have to do what makes you feel any more confident, any less self-conscious. I also bring a little blush over my nose. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to use in this palette is the, it's a highlight, but it's, it's not like a beaming highlight. It is just, um, it's the shade right here, and it's just a glow. The Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde, just the freaking colors in here. Oh my gosh. There's so many looks I have saved like on my Pinterest that I can create with this palette. And I haven't used this palette on my eyes before. But I am going to go in with just a shader brush and this kind of pastel pink called Libra. And that is going to be my crease, my transition, kind of all over shade. So I am trying to get used to bringing my shadows up a little higher, like close to my brow bone and being a little more dramatic just so I can reap the benefits of my artistry. Beautiful metallic purple called Ultraviolet, which is I have right here. And I'm going to build this up on... Um, the inner and outer part of my eyelid. Bring this purple ultraviolet color down and just mimic what I did on the top. Put it in the to this gold shade in the middle called a galaxy, which is right here and put that in the center of my lid. I'm gonna bring that same gold galaxy color and put it kind of in the middle under my eye here. if I was going to do eyeliner um, but I think I can put a little bit just right along the lash line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this morphe brush but it's just a very flat angled brush here and what I'm going to do is just take some coal eyeliner and brush it on And truly just to find my lash line. This is not something I've ever done before because my lashes used to be dark. I had a pretty defined lash line. But they ain't anymore. I've been very into liquid liners the past few years. I honestly just got in the vibe of it and they became quicker for me when getting ready for work. Um, but I'm kind of testing out a little bit of a softer look right now while my lashes are continuing to grow. What I'm going to do next is just put um, mascara on and then I'll come back for my lip color. I think. Am I doing everything? Okay, so I am back to, sorry. <laughs> Uh, finish with my lip and I'm going to keep it pretty uh, pinky nude which is my thing I love a bold lip but I just I don't know so I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner in nude pink and then the um, L'Oreal 
Infallible Paints in the shade Spicy Blush. For me, this is like the perfect mixture between lipstick and lip gloss. Okay guys, so this is what I came up with. Actually, Pinterest came up with it. But uh, thanks for clicking on this video. If you stay till the end, thank you so much. Um, maybe I'll get back in the routine of doing videos. I'm just trying to find something to keep me occupied during quarantine, like all of us. Keep my mind off my treatments and uh, staying alive, kids. Staying alive. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.